Hello ladies and gentlemen, queens and kings, lads and lasses, boys and girls, to another video. This chair is squeaky as fuck. If you're new to my videos, feel free to subscribe. I make videos every Thursday. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at iMerge Pro. It is an editing software for photos and it is the world's first non-destructive image compositor. Raw imaging compositor, that is. When I heard this, I knew I had to check it out and see if it's worth from switching over from Photoshop and Lightroom. But before we get into the software itself, let's talk about the price. As of now, iMerge Pro is $150, and here's what you're getting for that price. You get 38 different effects that you can use, which include curves, LUTs, and white balance. Okay, with that being said, let's go into iMerge Pro and start a new project. When you open iMerge, it'll show you all the different safe projects that you have. I just have one here, but I'm gonna start a new one. But before we get to that, uh, I wanna show you the different buttons and layouts of uh, the home screen here. You can sort your projects by clicking the sort button up here. You open recently, modified, created, project A to Z or Z to A, whatever fits your preference. There's also, there's two buttons here as well, new button. You can choose from whatever template that you need to make for your project. And you can also do open, but if you try to open a project, it needs to be a iMerge file or else it will not work. So if I were to go into here, I have a bunch of photos saved, but since they are not iMerge Pro or iMerge project, I cannot open them. So X out that. I'm just gonna make a new project. So just go to new, empty project. If you go to project and open like we did before, you're not gonna be able to use a picture because you need it to be an iMerge project file. So that's not gonna work. What you can do is press this icon right here, this picture icon, and then I'll add an image layer. And you can do image from a folder, desktop, whatever. I'm just gonna do from a folder. And what we will choose this one right here. And it'll ask to resize your photo. Just click yes. And then boom, there's my face. You also have this text layer button and it's really small right here, but you can change the size by clicking this number here and increasing it to whatever size you want. So let's say I want it to be 100, do that. And in order to add text, all you do is go down here to the content layer and type in whatever you want. So you can also reposition it by just clicking on it and you can even change where the lettering goes by Clicking on these boxes here. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Now, after you add your text, it kind of looks like you've made an album cover. So what you want to do is click here on the solid layer and add a solid. Let's do this above the text layer. Now, as you can see, um, it's just completely white. You can't see anything. And what you want to do is, in order for you to change that, you can change the blend mode. You might want to change it to a different color though. Yeah, just choose whatever blend mode that fits your fancy. Overlay looks pretty good. And you can also change the opacity of the layer. So let's make it subtle. And then you can click these little icons right here to turn off, on and off the layer. Uh, let's just turn this uh, solid layer off. Right here you have your effects. And this uh, is what is gonna dial in your settings for the overall picture. So let's go ahead and go down to tone and click the curves effect. And just like with HitFilm Pro, um, curves is basically shadows, midtones, and I'm on the solid layer. So you don't wanna do that. <laughs> what you wanna do is go to this button right here and it's adjustment layer and there you can add your effects that looks good enough maybe just exposure a little bit you have all these different types of values to customize to your liking and let's add clarity yeah. i'm not going to go through all the different effects i'm just going to talk about the effects i'm going to be using on this picture Clarity, what that does, it just gives more sharpness, if you will, more detail. Let's add in 
color adjustment. Now to change the color of a certain object within your picture, what you want to do is say I want to change, adjust the colors of the yellow leaves. So I'll go to the yellow here and I can adjust the, I can adjust the saturation of it. So I want it to be a little bit more punchy and then I can even adjust the hue of it if I want. Also you can see like the light is a little bit yellow. So the highlights here will change color as well. So let's just put that at zero. If you want to see what it looks like before you put all the edits on here, just click this little down arrow right next to apply, click disable all, and it'll show you what your previous image or your original image looked like before, then after. And I'm gonna add one more thing on here. I'm gonna add a LUT and basically just brings your image uh, all together with color. If you don't have any LUTs, I will put a link in the description for 35 free LUTs from premiumbeat.com. You can use those. Um, I'm just gonna use a pack that I bought from Film Riot's uh, Triune from the digital store. There we go, okay, <laughs> I found one. All right, so I'm just gonna be talking about these three uh, gradients for now because they're very basic. So a gradient mask basically just fades into the image. So if I bring this slider down right here, you can see that it gets, it goes from brighter to darker. You can even see, click off. Whoops. Let's go back to masks. And you can see that it makes it darker or lighter and it just fades. And again, you can change the opacity. You can even change the blend mode of it. So that's a bit more drastic. That's the gradient mask. And let's go to the area mask right here. And this basically creates a shape around the subject that you want. Say, I just want my face to have a gradient on it. Let's make this into color burn so you can see it better just for the sake of this video. So you can see how this gradient works. It just, whatever area you have this box, it'll make into a mask. And you can raise or lower the opacity. But last but not least, we have a vector mask. Vector mask allows you to create any shape mask that you want. So Say I want to just do my, we're going to do my face again. Let's zoom up here. Just do a rough mask. And let's raise it. And we'll stick to color burn. And you can see that this mask is covering my face and we can make it softer lower the opacity like before in the other masks and to uh, export all you do is you click the control E button and this will leave a watermark since I don't have the full version this is the demo then you just click OK and you save it as whatever format you want and then you can just name it and save it wherever you want but yeah, that's iMerge. I don't really know if I see myself using this over Photoshop because I feel like as of now, Photoshop has a little bit more tools and it's more versatile uh, than this. But you know, uh, if they add some new tools in, I might buy it, um, I might not. All right, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching to the end. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make videos every other Thursday. And until next time, eat, sleep, and dream films. I'll catch you guys later.